So what do I have here? These are four flash drives for your Mac. They're the little teeny ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a test on these to see which is the winner. How fast are these on a Mac computer, M1 Mac, real world testing. See who wins, sit back, and let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. And if you know my channel, I don't do testing like everyone else. I do my own kind of my own kind of testing. So sit back and relax and let's see what we get here. I have four flash drives for my Mac, M1 Mac here. Now these are gonna be, the reason I chose these is these are gonna be, three of them are 64 gigs, one of them is 32 gigs. Um, they're all different manufacturers and they're the little tiny ones, the little tiny ones, but they are USB-A. This obviously has USB-C. This is my M1 MacBook Air. I'm gonna test it on this. But I'm gonna go through a hub here, and I'm gonna use this. This is an Anchor Hub, one of the hubs I always use here. So I'm gonna plug these into here, and I'm gonna go ahead and run some tests. I'm gonna run some tests on a 100 meg file to see how quick it can do that one, just a 100 meg file. And then obviously these things can slow down over time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a 2.5 gigabyte file, and then we're gonna see how fast do they actually load the data. What is the fastest? What do these kind of claim their, you know, the speed is on them, and what's the real world test? One caveat is I'm gonna to have to format this, and I'll tell you how I format it when I get in here. And I'm gonna format it a certain way, all of these, to work on the Mac, and maybe also a PC, we'll see. The reason I wanna to have to, you know, the reason I disclose that is because this is a real world test, how I use it. You could use it differently. You can tell me I should have formatted it differently. I should have done this, should have done that. But this is how I'm gonna use it. Again, take it for what it's worth. Obviously, if you format it differently or what have you, results might change, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's get into the video, sit back, let's find out what the winner is. I have one from PNC, one from Team Group, one from Samsung, and one from SanDisk. I'll have links to all these in the description. All right, let's get into the testing. I'm not gonna put you through the entire test. I'm just gonna show you the results. Um, if you hear some noise in the background, getting infested by cicadas, anyone know how to get those out of the yard? Because it's super loud, but sorry about that if you hear it. Um, long story short, let's go ahead and do the test. The first one I'm gonna start with is gonna be the Samsung. And again, what I wanna do is just, let me just tell you that I'm, I went ahead and I, I formatted all four of these to XFAT. And the reason I did that is because I wanted these to work on both Mac and PC. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test on, through this Anchor Hub again onto my M1 MacBook Air, just so everything's clear. And obviously I'll give a description. And in, in my description, I'm gonna have a link to the Anchor Hub and then all four of these little, uh, you know, USB drives just so you can see them and test them out if you want to. But I went ahead and did fair testing. I'm gonna go ahead and run the 100, basically a 100 meg file, and then I'm gonna go ahead and run a 2.5 gigabyte file. I'm waiting so everything cools down. I'm trying different ports. I'm doing an average for you. So we'll see what the numbers are. Let's get into it. Everything's gonna be, you know, again, this is just not a perfect test. It's just a real world test. Let's find out which is the winner. All right, so the Samsung, let me look down, but I'm gonna put some information up here. For the 100 meg test, it took 4.4 seconds. I kind of stuttered a little bit. 4.4 seconds for 100 megs. Comes out to 22.7 megabytes per second. And then for the average, and I did a number of these, so I averaged them out, but they're all very consistent. But for the 2.5 gigabytes on the Samsung, um, this is a one, it took one minute and 34 seconds, one minute and 34 seconds. And that comes down to about 26.6 megabytes per second. Now, this one's only 32 gigabytes. This is the only one that was the Samsung. So maybe that has to do with it. It's a little bit smaller size. I know the bigger size flash usually is a little bit faster, but that's what the results were of that one. The next one was the PNY, and when I did this one, I noticed it was a lot quicker for some reason, especially with the small little one. So 100 megs only took 1.1 seconds, and that comes out to about 90.1 megabytes per second. And that was just a little small file. On the larger file that was, again, 2.5 gigabytes, it took one minute and 15 seconds, one minute and 15 seconds. So everything slowed down a little bit after that. It was came out to about 33.3 megabytes per second. And again, that is gonna be in the PNY, so it did pretty good. The SanDisk one, this is the 64 gig SanDisk. This one didn't do as well, so it took about 6.5 seconds to move the 100 megabyte file, and that was only 15.4 megabytes per second. And then for the 2.5 gigabyte, which is crazy, it was, um, Three minutes and 13 seconds. Three minutes and 13 seconds. I tried it a number of times and it was right on there. Three minutes and 13 seconds for 13 megabytes per second. So, so far the sand disk is, is not doing too well. And then the final one was this team group, 64 gigs. And again, this one, you know, 
it did really well actually. It didn't have any of that hitch in the first 100 megs like I tried, so a 100 meg file only took it a point, point 0.8 seconds, less than a second. Comes out to 100, what is it? Uh, let me see here, 125 megabytes per second. 125 megabytes per second on a really small file, of course. And then for the, the larger 2.5 gigabytes, uh, took one minute and 12 seconds, so that's really fast as well. But obviously things slow down, things heat up. So that took, that was about 34.7 megabytes per second. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna put up a graph here. And as you can see on the graph, um, we, you know, we can see obviously the Samsung, the PNY, the SanDisk, and the Team Group. It looks like the Team Group is the winner for sure. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, it definitely seems like it's the fastest. The next fastest with the PNY. You can see it here. Uh, PNY is number two. Samsung is probably the third, I would guess. Um, and then the SanDisk, surprisingly, which you would think, you know, should have really you know, been able to do flash by now was by far the worst. So look at this. I mean, whatever they're worth, this is a real world test. And uh, so at the end of the day, I just want to wrap up the video. Again, these are not perfect tests. This is a test I had to format everything to XFAT because I want to use them on two different machines. I'm going through a hub. But it's a real world test. I mean, everything's the same. I let things cool down. I did the same test for all of these. They had no, you know, nothing had an advantage in my tests. And this is the way I would use it because I have PCs I want to transfer files back and forth to. So I know you can do this a little bit differently. You can do A and again APFS and stuff like that. It might be a little bit better to, to format these in. But I did them XFAT. This is the results I got. Definitely help out my channel if you can. And if you guys can subscribe, it definitely helps me grow the channel. I like doing tests that are different. Everyone else is like uses the same standards and everything. And I know that does help because it compares things. But I just, I throw it out there. I show you how I use it. I'll go ahead and break down the speeds, the tests, and hopefully it helps people if you're making a decision on these little ultra micro little things here um, that you want to add to like a hub and you don't want to really you know travel with a lot of weight or something. These things are obviously a lot slower than you would get on a uh, SSD drive if you just have like something like this connected to a SATA cable. These are going to be like three or 400 megabytes per second and I recommend something like this. These are SSD drives. But if you have like, if you just want like a, something the size of a quarter or like even a dime, these are pretty good. So anyways, let me know what you think. Kind Comments, definitely subscribe if you can. I appreciate all the support you can give me and uh, we'll make more of these. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.